This was how your faves were seen backstage after they were evicted from Big Brother's house. This was Milay, Mitch, Chwenza, and Taki. Hey, babies. What's up, my darling MVPs, and how you all doing? Welcome back to Seo with Mimi Shosli Mimi, where you get the gist. I see they do waiting. I see they hearts. Of course, you know there is no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel. If it snows, you do what? You lose. Are you yet to subscribe to this channel? Or are you still sitting on a fat, long thing? Kindly pause right there, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notification bell. If not, tell me. How do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot? Like, how do you want to get the gist? I see the heart. This picture of Yolanda and me, she got me so emotional every time I get to view it. Like, I really feel so, like, oh, so sad because having your loved one leave you is actually hurting. And Yolanda has been going through it though. Uh, Makeke has been trying his best, you know, to be there for her. Makeke even slept on her bed yesterday guys did you notice that um the housemates are 13 right now they are 13 in numbers because they were 17 four left yesterday right now they are 13 and the house seems to empty now what are we gonna do even at boys down to 10 housemates <laughs> because right now the only story revolves around the jalim pool yes jared Lema, and um was her name again Mpumi because um after the eviction Mpumi from her own end has been trying her best to settle things with Liema because she has seen that the story is kind of looking like um a side chick story so she's trying to put in the things like um to set things straight you know um was having conversation with um what was her name Lerato Modise and Liema was saying most of the time she did not really have the actual time to have valid conversation with Jared that it's always when they are puffing that is when they are smoking you know they will be discussing one or two that jared never gets to know her likes and dislikes same with her you know and then rato asks okay whom does he spend more time with and then Mpumi said he's with liema they spend more time more time together you know and then liema was like he's a lie when she said um they barely know about each other liema said he's a lie she said she's serious about this you know so right now she is stepping her back that she's no longer in uh, then lerato said so do you care to know more about him and then and Pumi says she's stepping back, that she's no longer interested about it, knowing fully where she has somebody outside, and that so she came in to play the game. Meanwhile, um, netizens are like, all of these things are happening from Pumi and because they thought Liema is gonna go home. They thought maybe how she doesn't really have a fan base, you know, because of how she has played her own game, which we also had to be naive, not knowing that she is stupidly playing her own game. You get the point. So the housemates will be seeing that part of her, will be thinking that fans might not relate with her, you know. So seeing that she was safe and the noise that was made that she, after she was safe, that is when they have a rethink. Everybody wants to play you know in a different way like i said it's a new week new strategy everybody wants to re-strategize meanwhile while um pumi is trying to you know step back it may seem as though else is trying to continue from where pumi stopped hey wahala be like bicycle guys so else is trying to pitch her own tent right now was selling jared you know trying to be flirty and all of that but jared was like you have other people in mind i wasn't your top priority but now else said that he is that he wants to have it with him and then jared was and she said others became she became others start to look boring and then jared was like so how do you think mine would not be like that she said yours his own will not be like that because he's not gonna be that clingy and all of that that he has other things going on for him anyways guys I am ready. I am seated watching and see how this will play out. You know, of course, Liema actually survived that of Pumi. Elson is going to be just a, a, a thing, a small thinking. Meanwhile, after Liema had that conversation with Pumi, Liema went to the room where Jared was, was telling Jared everything on how Pumi said it was a game to her that um they never get to talk about their likes and dislikes that Jari do not even know what she likes and all of that. But Jari seems to be like it is a lie that um it is quite surprising to hear this from Pumi that the only one person 
he thinks is the realest is the person that is fake. And Niema was like, oh, so you think Pumi is the realest? Then each and every one of us are fake, right? Niema stood up and walked out. There's something Niema called Jari. Niema says he is a narcissist, that he's a love bomber, <laughs> and he's a gaslighter. It may seem as though um, Jari, who is trying to be the, play the game, is giving the game, is really playing him at this point because for him to think Mpumi is not in for the game, you know, that so he thinks the ladies, the two ladies are genuinely falling in love with him. Anyways, um, Jari later on was having conversation at the garden with um, Liema, was telling Liema that started chat twisting mother. Um, Yolanda is actually the oldest and truly she knows the truth that um, what she, whatever she has been saying about him liking one more is the truth that people misunderstood him that he's not a what do they call it he's not it's whatever that he's not a villain that he's actually is a lover boy that Yolanda understand his person that's why she's the oldest that she loves he loves one like crazy he loves one more like crazy I'm like the same Jared who said he cannot choose amongst the two ladies is saying he loves one more like crazy this boy is the most confused person I have ever seen meanwhile the family knowing that Omo the game our son is playing <laughs> if he stand up uh, people are really because people have been craving for that um jared to stand up so guess what jared this is jared's mom you know and family friends you know fans they came all out during the weekend to clamor for votes for their son so for those who are waiting to see jared put up and thinking he is gonna go home it is giving the family friends and fans are fully ready in fact they are waiting for him to be up so that they will start voting. They are, he's not going to go with his first time standing. That is the target. From them, will that ever happen? Remember, the house is getting smaller and strong um, contenders are in the house. You know, Sinai got up for the first time and he didn't go. That's the, a sweet thing to see because right now we cannot say, oh, how is his fan base? Because at least he was safe amongst other housemates. And then uh, coming from Jared Handler. Jared's family and friends standing behind their boy 100%. S.A. will feel him. Unpredictable Jared. They do not have a choice. They really do not have a choice but to actually stand him with their full chest because, hmm, okay. All right. And then he said, The streets knows about the nipple pierced man in Biggie's house. His name is Jared. Unpredictable Jared. I think that is the best thing you can do for your boy right now because he seems so confused in his own game. He plays that game himself, but he is caught up in between. That's what I think. Anyways, Bev is a Jarit stan said, We just love Jarit a bit. Smiley, quickie personality that brings laughs to the house. Never a dull moment with him, but no jokes. Jarit is actually a lover and not a villain, and he is beautiful just like his mom. Unpredictable Jarit. Okay, if you say so. I agree with Jared. People have misconception of, of him. Jared is essentially a lover boy, as Yolanda repeats over and over, and that he loves Liema. Let's see if trust can return. Between these two, they must ignore those who are in their business always. See, if, if you're a Liema stand, you better be, play, um, be praying, I mean, I said playing. Better be praying, guys, because if Liema fought for Jari, that means she's really not using her head. But I think Liema is indeed in this game right now. I, I'm seeing the kind of game she's playing already, unlike before. When Lawrence said Liema was safe, the crowd blew up in screams. The housemates witnessed the genuine happiness people felt for Liema, and now one has apologized, the other has turned to a lover boy. Why there is Elsa, the other hand, who is actually trying to go back in? You know, maybe she noticed that maybe the viewers enjoyed the triangle. Anyways, guys, do you remember Kosi went to the house on Saturday, bubbly, laughing jiggling and all of that guess what the next day she actually revealed she is ill what, what food did you guys give my baby to eat <laughs> don't mind me guys she's actually ill and she revealed merely of issue took her to the hospital quick recovery my darling my sweethearts anyways because coming to that house is one of the things i enjoyed about the season also all right guys um, meanwhile mm -hmm, people have been looking for who kosi um, actually was rooting for now there are some ex bb titan housemates that is actually coming out with their full chest rooting for housemates and nelisa is one she said liema z or yolanda for the money and then someone said liema for the money let's keep going diva said z for the money so right now you have seen someone who comes out and said oh i am actually rooting for this person you guys should trend it 
than waiting for somebody who never said a thing, you know, and you'd be like, oh, this person said this or that. People like carrying fake things. And then someone re um, remind um, Nelisa, now Mark Jr., and then she said, there is only two men I have ever cared about in the Big Brother house, Yemi and Kanaga. Girls, all the way, I said what I said. The same Yemi and Kanaga was the, pe was the people you could not even respect when you were misbehaving, when they tried to call you to other. But it is what it is, you know. And then someone said, I saw Yemi and I am here. Cute Anna said, Tabang, Ned, the only reason you hated Kosi with passion, that you make up lies. <laughs> you guys would always bring out this Tabang thing with um, Nelisa, Kosi, blah, blah, blah. Look at the rest, though. And someone replied her because after she rooted for the three, Yolanda, Else and Z. Someone said, Else hasn't exhibited Ubuntu, not in the slightest way. All the girls except Lerato have been kissing around. Zintu, without doubt, would be the first good hearted girl to win the show. In fact, Liema and Yolanda are not bad. It's just that Yolanda attacks when she feels rejected. Why do you guys always want to give explanation when people made their choice? It is their choice. You can as well not like the person. And then she replied and said, You just said what I said. I don't watch Big Brother. I have said this a thousand times. I don't know. I don't even know how Lerato looks like, but you know who is always on mind for you. Liema, Z, and Yolanda. The boys don't exist to me. Else, you are a queen. Don't get me wrong. Mm, interesting. In Big Brother's voice. <laughs> Anyway, say hell else hasn't exhibited Ubuntu. What does he mean? Anyway, she still replied as she said. Okay, someone said, else your vile neighbor. And then she said, I love her, don't get me wrong, but good girls never win the show. Is else being a good girl on that show? And who says good girls doesn't win the show? Are you trying to indirectly diss the winner of Baby Titan that she isn't a good girl? Anyways, your business, baby. Yaya is also clamoring for votes, you know, for Sinai and then Liema. As someone said, Sinai and Liema are my faves this season. Behind you, babies, till the last day. Lilies and snipers, please do not sleep on your faves. They both deserve a spot in the finals. And then Yaya said, Eastern Cape, stand up. So that's like cruising for them, right? Anyways, there's one thing I have noticed about this in Zanzi as a whole you cannot predict the finalists in as much as you really want oh those people could be the finalists guess what you would be so surprised seeing people voting for the people you thought would not be at the finale so let's just sit and wait it is almost getting near okay anyways babies today is monday and we all know how interesting monday is in biggie's house it's gonna be a lot just make sure you have subscribed and have turned on your notification bell because i'll be bringing it back to back over here bye for now babies